Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in the past few days, I've been wondering how tricky is it to buy a seat for a certain use? Okay guys, so, in the past few days I've been wondering, because I've got the GTL Mega racing, or I mean, Ben has as well, um, and it's just a bit like, we've got these, but what cheaper options are there? There's a load of chairs out there, but I'm going to say some for you now. So guys, you can get the chair and a half, the chair and a half is basically a big tub chair, if you don't know what a tub chair is, where have you been? Tub chairs were a thing, that's probably where you've been. Um, but the chair and a half is basically like a big chair, it's much more cosy, plus it could just it fills a room if you had a bit of a space to fill. So if you wanted to go a little bit more posh and uh, you had a half landing spare and a couple hundred pound, then you could go with the wing chair. The wing chair has been updated by contemporary flavour by modern designers. That's if you wanted to go all out and not really have a chair or a desk. That's just a chair that you can sit down halfway up your thousand stair landings. So, you can also get the chase lounge if you had a swimming pool in your garden. Or you just really liked a little bit of a beach theme in your room. It is all different types of chairs, not just um, stuff for office. Um, but, if you want me to do a video on office sort of chairs for different types of offices then do let me know in the comments. So there's also the club chair which um, is very, in the picture it looks very like you would find it in an older house. So this one seems to have a bit of a donuts sort of feel. Mmm, donuts. So it's basically a cushy, unhosted chair with arms. So very nice one for relaxing and eating your donuts on. It's from a gentleman's club. So um, if you if you like gentlemen's clubs, then there you go. In the 19th century. Okay, Ben and me were just having a discussion about this occasional chair, and um, Ben came up with this random remark. It looks like more like a graphics card. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't look anything like a graphics card. And it's not it's normally used when guests come over. So, Clismo's chair. It's um very random to say the least. Um got lots of uh, exotic curves, as it says. And it looks like it's got a letterbox. So you can, so if your letterbox runs out, chop the back bit off and uh, stick stick that as your letterbox. No god, please no. It'll, it'll be good. You got yeah, double letterbox. And it was first used by the Greeks. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you do want me to do a video on what chair to buy for a desk setup, instead of just chairs for half landing, fill, fill your room beside a swimming pool, um, then do let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give it a like rating. Don't forget to go and check out the website and get a t-shirt. I was meant to wear um, one of my t-shirts, but I sort of forgot to put it on. But you know, but I can wear the hat. Also guys, don't forget... <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, and don't forget to check out this cool part on the website as well. It's not going to be as this mucky. I sort of do climbing in it and stuff. Versatile. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.